You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. No Oprah invite. You may be aware that it was Oprah Winfrey's birthday just recently, but it would appear that Harry's wife wasn't invited to matters. Oh dear, poor Harry's wife, hmm? But that's also symptomatic of a wider problem that has been occasioned for Harry's wife, something that we will be remarking upon in this video, and is demonstrative of the collateral consequence of the middle-mid-range narcissist that she is. We turn to an article by foxnews.com, written by Stephanie Nolasco and Ashley Papa, which has the headline, Harry's wife was noticeably missing from Oprah Winfrey's birthday for this reason, royal experts say. The media mogul was joined by Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez and Rita Wilson to commemorate her 69th birthday. When Oprah Winfrey was among the many stars who united over the weekend to celebrate Anastasia Beverly Hill's 25th anniversary, many believed Harry's wife would tag along. During the glitzy event in Los Angeles, which celebrated Anastasia Soiree's famed beauty brand, the media mogul was presented with a cake to commemorate her 69th birthday, which occurred a day later. Some of the many A-listers in attendance included Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, Sharon Stone, Rita Wilson, Sofia Vergara, and Heidi Klum, among others peppering of narcissists in there, I might add. The Duchess of Sussex has noticeably kept a low profile this month. See, parts pass him, she's hanging him out to dry, and he's giving her plenty of ammunition. Her husband, Prince Harry, recently completed a media tour for his memoir, Spare, which was published on January the 10th. It sold 1.43 million copies during its first day, on sale in the UK, US and Canada making it the fastest-selling non-fiction book of all time. Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox News Digital there's a good reason why the mother of two has stayed out of the spotlight. I have to be honest, I've interviewed Oprah several times over the years, starting when she first burst onto the national scene in the 1980s, said Anderson. If there is one thing Oprah is, it's loyal. My reading of the situation is that both Oprah and the Sussexes realise this is a very delicate moment for Harry and Harry's wife as we approach the coronation of King Charles. Appearing at such a glitzy high-profile event with Hollywood A-listers to honour Oprah is not what the Sussexes need right now, he explained. That would certainly rub King Charles the wrong way, not to mention an already hostile British public. I'm certain Harry and Harry's wife remain on friendly terms and are keeping the whole Oprah H&M thing on the down low. To my mind, that's bollocks. And it's just an attempt to provide an excuse for the fact that Harry's wife simply was NFI'd. Oh yes, not fucking invited and it's being done to patch over it as an attempt through a, left, through a coterie member to nullify the threat to control. That kind of event is the sort of thing that Harry's wife is desperate to attend. She believes that she's on a par with all of those successful women, those that have built businesses, those that are well-known through reality television, film, music. She believes that she should be amongst them and that she is an equal of theirs, that she's just as beautiful as they are, that she's just as charismatic as they are, because her narcissism deludes her to believe that that is the case. And therefore, an event such as this is one that she very much believes that she should be invited to, but she was NFI'd, and that wounds her. A failure to receive an invitation from the relevant non-intimate secondary source and not be included with a variety of non-intimate secondary sources and non-intimate tertiary sources provides a peppering of wounding for Harry's wife. It would not best please her at all. 
The fact that she's on the outside and not the inside causes a problem and is a threat to her need for control. It damages the facade also not to be included. And of course, because it's been maintained that she's almost busy mates with Oprah Winfrey, but there has been a yawning gulf between the two latterly, because of course Oprah recognises that in effect there is a stigma associated with Harry's wife and we're not best pleased that she had a load of porky pies spewed in her direction from the bombshell interview in March 2021. Accordingly, she's not invited to the event, she's not invited to celebrate Oprah Winfrey's birthday, and that wounds. In order to deal with this, a coterie member is dispatched to say, oh, it's a delicate situation at the moment, and basically because it's approaching the coronation of King Charles, um, attending a glitzy high-profile event is not what the Sussexes need right now. It's bollocks. That does not fit with what a narcissist would want. And this is excuse-making after the event to try and cover up for the fact that she was NFI'd. The article continues. Spare is the latest in a string of public pronouncements by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex since they quit royal life in 2020, although they've never shut up about royal life thereafter. At the time, they cited what they saw as the media's racist treatment of the Duchess and a lack of support from the palace. Following their exit, the couple sat down with Winfrey for an interview that was viewed by 50 million people globally. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex spoke out again in a six-part Netflix Shitumentary, released last month. A spare and shitflex documentary have triggered such a backlash that I'm sure they've decided to keep a low profile and focus on their family in the coming months, Anderson added. Kinsey Schofield, a royal expert and the host of the To Die For Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital that she too wasn't surprised that the mother of two wasn't in attendance for the high-profile event. Unlike Anderson, Schofield suspects that wary publicists in Hollywood aren't sending many invites to the Sussexes. I live in Los Angeles and have spent years in PR, she explained. Word on the street is that Harry and Harry's wife aren't invited anywhere because all eyes would be on them and it would distract from the cause or event. Nailed it. Furthermore, I would suggest that people don't trust them, that the conversations that you'll have with them may well then end up being monetized by them particularly by Harry's wife, because she has no sense of loyalty, no sense of remorse, no sense of guilt, and is governed by her brand of narcissism to behave in a particular way. And she doesn't have that higher echelon approach to recognising that when you're within a particular group, you keep quiet. The fact is that her narcissism has compelled her to always be the scene stealer. And, of course, with many of these events, they're hosted by and attended by other narcissists. And because of the way that she has behaved, the way that she's repeatedly complained about the royal family, the way that she has to turn everything into an attempt to monetize her attendance and continue to share secrets and complain about how she's been treated, it's like a bridesmaid upstaging the bride at a wedding. Nobody wants that to happen, and certainly where the event or the occasion is the preserve of another narcissist, that narcissist is going to recognise that Harry's wife's attendance is going to be a threat to control, and therefore will not want her attending. Accordingly, the way that her narcissism has functioned has created this collateral consequence, whereby other people, both narcissists and non-narcissists, think, I'm not having her come, because there's always drama surrounding her, there'll be a media scramble, and it will detract from what I want to achieve, because people will be talking about her. Because rather than just turn up and, and function in a low-key way and be supportive, she has to make it all about her, ensuring that press releases are sent ahead of the time, explaining that she's turning up to the opening of a toilet in Monty Shit Show, or ensuring that somebody notifies the paparazzi so they turn up even though they ought not to have been invited to pap her. All of this means that whilst her narcissism focuses on the here and now in order to get that control, it's then created this reputation of her being simply 
a drama queen, someone who hoovers up all of the attention for herself, meaning that ultimately other people aren't going to invite her. Once again, her narcissism achieves a short-term gain at a long-term expense. Kinsey Schofield continues by stating, The reality is that they are seen as drama, she alleged. They are also considered untrustworthy, and a private conversation you have with them could end up repeated on a podcast, a reality show, or within a book. I agree entirely with those observations. Royal commentator Hilary Fordwich said it would be wise for the Sussexes to piss off, oh no, to lie low as Charles 74 gears up for his coronation. Harry, 38, recently told Britain's ITV that he wants to have his father and brother back, noting he wants a family, not an institution. The prince has previously spoken about his estrangement from his father and elder brother, Prince William, since he departed from the United Kingdom. They both know, as we all do, that the huge issue is the upcoming coronation, she said. Neither Harry or Harry's wife can really risk further damage. Their long-term prospects and entire relevance are at play. Fordwich suspected that Harry's wife may be quietly working on future projects while focusing on the couple's young children at home, and after enduring backlash from their several tell-alls, keeping out of the public eye may be the best move for them. It may well be the case, of course, that she's asserting control by staying in a position of withdrawal, but as I've explained elsewhere, the main reason why she's staying out of the way is to let Harry fuck up, and so that she can distance herself from all of the ridiculous revelations that he's making. Nevertheless, the failure to get an invitation for Oprah's birthday is demonstrative, of course, of how she's persona non grata with many of the A-listers, something which will repeatedly wound her, and is demonstrative of the collateral consequences caused by her narcissism. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.